Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Harika. So in previous video, I have shown you how we can utilize the custom HTML forms instead of creating a form in UiPath itself, right? But in this video, I am going to show you uh, a next level of it, right? So uh, firstly, I'll show a demo of what you are going to learn so that it will be easy for me and also you to understand, okay? So I'll just run the file. So now it's going to show up a form. So this is my form. OK, so here uh, what I'm in the previous video, what I have shown you is uh, here we are populating the date and time. So it is changing as per the time, like for every second, it's keep on changing. That's how we have created the trigger, which is a repeat trigger. But in this video, what I'm going to show is along with that existing previous functionalities, I'm going to add on something here which is, so let's say I am entering a city. Okay, so let's say I'm entering Hyderabad. So the state is auto-populated, just like how we have done in the previous uh, first video where we are entering the uh, study participation consent, right? Whenever I'm entering the city, the state is automatically populated, but there they, we have utilized the activities, right? But here, along with activities, we are utilizing the APIs that we are using, utilizing the JavaScript, okay? So I will show you how we can do that. So we are using set function, set value, get value functions to do that. And I'm performing the trigger, which is clicking on OK, right? So when I'm clicking on OK, this part is freezed, right? So this one is done by using the send message. We have we have seen that, right? On clicked, uh, on OK clicked, on cancel clicked. So I'm clicking on cancel. So this is uh, done. So it is like that. So now we are uh, going to recreate this whole workflow. I'm going to tell you what all we have to do. So apart uh, from the uh, like the we have the previous uh, um, HTML file, right? So to the previous HTML file, let me show you. Let me change this name to form one or old form. OK, old form. So this one is the earlier one okay i will show you uh, what all the things i have changed to this old form okay so in this the styling remains the same and uh, you know this part i will change later on but let me tell you what all the th main things that i have done okay so here if you see let's go to w3 schools okay so here what i have done is i have taken this labels okay um this is the thing. Let me copy this. Okay. Uh, now I can edit this one. Okay. So from here till here. Okay. So just this part, these two things I have added. So just what you can do, just copy this whole thing. I will provide you, okay, in the in the description or somewhere, I will let you know where you can access this whole HTML file from. But I will tell you what all the extra things I, had, I have added to the previous code, okay? So in the old one uh, from here, like after welcome to UiPath, I want this to be displayed before actions, okay? So I have given this, uh, these two things and and after that is done, what is my next thing is, um, so if you observe, this is basically this, what this actually does is I'm giving a city, which is, you know, the label, this label. And after that, I'm providing a text box this, to input. This is an input tag. And I'm giving the name and value and all these things. And you can just change this, okay? Like this can be changed to city because it was first name, something of that sort. I just say change to city. Okay. And this is state. And state. Okay. After that is done. This is only like till this part. Okay. Till this part, this is only to display this, these two. Okay. But apart from this, what I have written is I wrote something called on input or else you can just give on key press. These are a few methods or a few functions that we have. So this on key press, like, you know, whenever you give some method, like, uh, uh, you know, like you press on it, it this 
on pressing a particular key this method will be called what is this method city right so where is this method i have to define that method right so here i am defining that method so if we see here uh, we have method for okay clicked we have for cancel clicked right similar way i will create a function i will create a function for city okay or city change whatever you can just give the value valid name and here i am telling the key okay this is to trigger like to let the know uh, to to let the bot know that you know something has changed in the um <clears throat> form okay so here i am doing send message what i am i will be giving city changed okay i am providing city changed as a text so if you remember uh when we are you know uh running this workflow like the earlier workflow so if you haven't watched the previous workflow then definitely i would recommend please watch that workflow because this is a prerequisite to understand okay so i am giving in if you remember on okay click to be selected okay click there's a message id right form message and message id so in the similar way in order to let the bot know after entering the city uh that this function has to be called you have to provide in this message id so shall we execute till that part in the uh forms like in the studio okay so for that what i will do is mm, okay so i will come from step by step because i have already created that instead of deleting them i will come step by step and i'll explain you okay so first do a, take a show form and take form.html where your form is and after that what you can do is you can just select run local triggers so what it will do uh it will take it will check all the triggers and we have a repeat trigger here which will uh in this just like the previous workflow it will repeat for every one second we are setting the values uh where we are setting the values the item is changed all the time with the seconds value in that so this is same like the previous one same okay so if you are i am not going in detail of this if you are if you want more detailing of this particular step please watch the previous video i will give the link of that here on the top of the video and also in the description do check it out that will help you to understand more details and of, after that what i am doing is the next thing is uh, i am going to enter the city name right so for that this one i will recreate okay i am taking a workflow i'll say city value entered some relevant name okay city value entered so here i am going to take the form trigger right because i wanted to check if that value is entered or not city value is entered or not for that i will take form.html and what is the event form message right what is the form message we have taken here city changed right so that is what uh, the value is city changed and one second so uh, yes here main file so until uh, till here we'll go and in the form trigger event we will check this value is there city changed okay and after that what is the next thing this will be called this function will be called and the next thing is we have to extract that value whatever the changed value we have to extract that value for that i am taking get values get form values okay get form values and from the form form.html so what is the value that we want to get first thing is we should try to understand we are not getting directly from there but we should understand this so if you remember uh, for okay um, you know when we are when we are sending out the time to that particular form we utilized the id which is called time right so in the similar way we have to make sure we have to get the value of the city okay we have to get the value of city here just given the city and that i am storing it in a city variable okay so uh what i will do here is um we are getting this value and before to that we just have to make some changes in this workflow what is it if you see here uh, for getting values we have written one code so these are basically the properties that it has right so 
let's say if uh, this this particular uh, you know html element that has a value or not so it has the value so if this value is we are providing el dot value is undefined so if you if that value is undefined we are returning the inner html and if it's checked that checked property is undefined we are providing the value but we are not providing a particular value where this condition is true but here in our case the value is defined right so we haven't provided that condition so for that i'm changing this as a value okay if none of this is true return the value that it has entered in the text box. So that is what this means. Okay. So I'm saving this. And what I'm going to do here is, uh, so in the old form, I have to give the old form as the input, right? So instead of that, can I do something? Because here the input I have selected as form.html. So I will just change this as, So I'll just change this uh, old form to okay form dot html and um, now let's try to see if the changes are there okay so yes it is there I'm returning the value so now let's try and run and see what is happening okay so for that what i'm going to do here is um i'll just take one log message and I'll just keep here to to see what is the city that is coming up or if you are getting any error okay so for that i'm just trying to run the file Okay, so now let's see what is happening. So we've got the file as it is, and we can see that the ticking is happening. And in the city, I'm going to enter Hyderabad. Okay, so now let's go to the studio and see in the output. Correct, right? So if you see here, the it is like a pyramid. Like why it is coming, keep on and you know showing up each and every character. This is because in the uh, JavaScript uh, function we have written on key press right or on input uh, so that is it is because of that so on, every time you press on the key it's going to trigger the bot okay it's going to trigger that function so let me just explain you that so if you see here uh, where is my html one second i'm not able to see because of that is hiding my text so this is form dot text but um this is the one that i'm referring to where the code we have done made the changes to um, so here on input or on key press so this is basically whenever you type in the input for every single character it's gonna hit the function so the function is here and it's gonna call and the trigger will be it will be the event will be triggered every single time so that is why we are seeing that okay so once after that is done what i'm going to do here is um uh, the next thing is we can see that the form has taken the value and it is providing me the input right the set uh, like uh, get values get form value is working and the now ne next point is set value so when i wanted to set value first thing is if str city contains hyderabad okay okay if it contains hyderabad only then i wanted to set the form value as telangana right so for setting also we have to remember the same thing so what is it i'm gonna set so first thing is we have to set the id right just like we have done here in the city we wanted to set the state so just go in there and in the collections provide the state. And here I wanted to set this as Selangana, right? Just save. And after that, what we have to do just like this, the function, we have to go here and see the set value function. So here also the same thing, right? Uh, if you see, <clears throat> we have el dot value undefined so it is defined for in our case it is defined so this is not true el dot checked undefined 
we are not even bothered about check books because this is not a um, you know a check condition so we don't have our uh, things uh, you know uh, validation like the condition ex is not existing so in that case what i'm going to do el dot value equals to value so this one has to come up irrespective of whatever the uh, you know the output it is or whatever the condition it is because i want the value to be set there right so i want my value whatever the value we are passing telangana so that value has to be passed over there so just save it and go here and now let's come to the workflow we will run it now you can see the magic of the forms so the ticking has started and now i'm giving hyderabad uh did i miss something let's go here and see okay let's stop uh city value entered and this contains hyderabad yes it contains hyderabad right uh yes it contains hyderabad so what is the thing um form.html did i save it let me check if i have saved the changes okay and also just in case okay let me save this i think this is true uh because this is even dot value equals to value okay fine i have saved it let's see if it runs now otherwise we'll see what's the issue okay now hyderabad perfect right so we can see that the time is coming up the city is hyderabad state is telangana and i'm saying okay the time got freezed and i'm saying cancel the you know the form got closed and the bot has stopped execution if you want to know how the bot got, uh, okay has freezed and cancel has uh, you know stopped for closed the form and exited the execution you should watch the previous video because i've explained very clearly in the previous video and i hope you have understood what are the changes we have done to the existing html to the current html in order to make sure that you know we trigger the uh, uh, events with the help of the javascript uh, functions as well as the trigger uh, activities that we have in the studio so i hope you found this video useful and in the next video i'm going to come up with a new topic wherein we can run the uh, you know uh, javascript we have the activities for doing that and also styling uh, by using the css and doing some advanced logics and also performing things on the data tables and all so I think we are we have covered almost everything that we need to do over uh, the new UiPath forms. So I think you are enjoying this series. If so, please make some noise. Do let me know your comments uh, in the comment section. And also, I would love to hear your feedback. Thank you so much for watching. If you are facing any issues, please do reach out on my LinkedIn or uh, uh, in the comment section below this video. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.